Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the second week of March reads, start from the 8th through the 14th of March 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. I know the reads are very, very late for Aquarius, uh, but yeah, um, just wanted to get done with this as well. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, just be mindful. It's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So Aquarius, let's see what's coming in for you for this week time. Let's see, what can you expect for this week time? Let's begin. Four of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, wow, the devil. I mean, the day we do have the moon. I really feel like, you know, for majority of you Aquarius, um, I really see someone reaching out to you. I really see someone coming towards you. Um, I really feel like, you know, um, there has been some sort of confusion. There has been some sort of doubt. There has been some sort of uh, um, misunderstanding that that took place between you and a specific someone i feel like your connection with that person has been very strong and it is very strong still um and i really feel like you know yes there was some sort of confusion there was somebody who um who might have interfered in the situation and kind of like you know spoiled things for you and for your person i really feel like you know that confusion is going to get clear for you during this week time so if you and your specific someone had an argument or disagreement or misunderstanding i really see that coming to an end during this week time uh the action will be taken here and the issues is uh definitely going to get resolved between you and your specific someone i feel for the majority of you you have to be very careful with whoever it was who created the mess between the two of you because this person can involve in between the two of you again and spoil the situation between the two of you again and again so make sure whoever this person is you are aware of them and make sure that you keep that person out of your life I feel for majority of you, um, this person who has taken advantage of your misunderstanding and made things even worse between the two of you, I feel like, you know, this person can also be casting some sort of magical spells on you or your person. So make sure that you avoid this person as much as you can, because what they did this time, they could do it again. So just know one thing. I feel for majority of you, one more thing that you need to learn from this, uh, you know, experience that you've had was not to let a third party interfere in this situation between you and your specific someone. I really see you and your person have been in so much uh, love with each other, but with, that, with the interference of this person here, whoever this person is, um, things kind of like, you know, got off track. And I feel like you know, that's something that you need to be aware of. Um, these people who might have influenced your relationship could have been at your work front maybe uh, in your person's work front or it can be like your frenemies or their frenemies or family members but whoever they are the more your connection seems like you know of the more you could keep your connection very communicative uh, and you make sure that you don't hide or you know um lie about anything to any you know to each other your relationship will uh, relationship will stay safe so the only thing that can influence your relationship is the influence of third party so don't allow that to take place so i really see that finally things are going to get resolved between you and a specific someone you and them are definitely going to be like patching up uh the but the third party is not going to give up trust me on that so make sure that you keep your relationship safe from them let's see what else is coming in here Woo, there you go. I cannot say the word for it might get like, you know, uh, blocked, but I really feel like, you know, there's a lot of uh, intimate uh, energies coming up for you in your love life with your specific someone. To be honest, I feel like, you know, there might have been a third party situation influence here as well. Um, maybe somebody had, you know, this, you know, with the, with the, with the third party. Um, wow. If that has happened, I don't know what you should be doing because for some of you, maybe there has been an influence of third party which spoiled your relationship with your specific someone. They might have had a, a one night stand with them or something like that. But um, wow, I feel like you know you need to connect to the crystals right now um, to 
release anything negative and to create more happy positive space for yourself and for your person i feel like you know for some of you if if it's something that they had with another person then i don't know how you should be handling them it's your call your decision your life your love life your person but at the same time if it's about you and them i feel like you know this is going to get you closer for some of you maybe somebody's trying to take advantage of you not having that physical intimacy with your person and they want to become like that close to your person make sure that you are aware of that uh let's see more cards here what else is coming in here wow i feel like you know if somebody wants to take advantage of your distance here uh so if you are living at a distance maybe you need to visit your person so the other person would not take advantage of that i feel like you know somebody wants to seduce your person here and i feel like you know, if that's the case you have to be aware of this person um to avoid any sort of uh issue between you and your person here um spiritual your spiritual journey is beginning honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger and uh, signs watch out for signs leading you to true love i feel like you know for majority of you um you are safe your connection is safe but i really see somebody out there is trying to influence your relationship with the with the them being able to seduce your person or you yourself i feel like you, know, you have to be very careful with that somebody wants to come between the two of you and you have to be very careful with this person here they would try to influence your relationship in the worst way possible and you have to know who this person is it can be at your work front it can be your, at your person's work front but whoever this person is you have to keep crystals to keep yourself away from all the negativity that they are trying to bring into your relationship and I feel like that is very important here. Um, so yeah, make sure that you do that because I feel like you know if you don't um, pay attention to this, um, this person has been giving you red flags. I feel like you know this is something that you might have been ignoring for quite some time. It's time for you to listen to the signs so you could protect your relationship. And I really feel like you know for majority of you, you have to get into uh, spiritual work to break free from any sort of negativity that this person might uh, bring into your relationship with your specific someone. Be clear of that. Um, I feel like you know for majority of you. There, there is some sort of a need of a divine intervention to take place here or to bring in some divine help to release this negativity that is being created by this person. I feel like, you know, this person could also be using black magic to influence your relationship. And if that's the case, I feel like, you know, again, you have to make sure that you are taking good care of your relationship. You are taking good care of your connection. Um, Keep it protected, keep it safe from the other people influence. Uh, black magic and, um, you know, um, somebody who is trying to become partner with your, friend or your with your specific someone. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe to Lady of the Next Street. Take care. Bye.